Everybody, it's Mike from MJF Invest. Um, I decided to do a, a video about Aqua Bounty Technologies, ticker symbol AQB. Uh, the reason I decided to do this video um, is because I have done an Aqua Bounty video. Yeah, I believe it was the second video I had ever uploaded on to YouTube. Uh, and although I do stand by the information and I think the content is good, uh, the quality of my video making at the time was just not up to par. Uh, but I'm not a financial advisor, so you should do all your own research. Just please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for future content, and uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you have any positions in Aqua Bounty Technologies, ticker symbol AQB? The thing that attracts me to Aqua Bounty um, Technologies, ticker symbol AQB, is that they are presenting a solution to a problem that most of the public does not even realize we have. That protein is at the heart of the global food issue. And despite the supply constraints, protein consumption is predicted to nearly double by 2050 with marine-based proteins gaining a growing market share. Projecting that the amount of protein to be consumed over the next 30 years to be on a steady increase the demand is there, there's just no supply. Global Atlantic salmon market is 2.4 million metric tons. That's worth $16.7 billion. Now you might say, you know, uh, genetically modified fish, who the heck's gonna eat that, Mike? You know, but here, right here, we say 53% of the first impressions of GMOs related to food are neutral or to very positive. 60% neutral, they're very likely to purchase products they buy regularly if labeled as a GMO. 70% neutral to very likely to purchase products they buy regularly if labeled. If you're thinking, you know, oh, who the heck's going to eat these? Um, I've heard people call them frankenfish. Most uh, people, you know, the majority of people are okay with it. So that, that's something definitely to consider. Um, because, like, when I first was, when this was first brought to my attention, I thought in my head, wow, I don't think I would eat that. You know, and I was like, wow. But then, <clears throat> upon looking into it a little more and a little more, I may be open to it. Um, there are lots of GMOs out there. I don't know if you've ever seen a banana without, without it being genetically modified, but if you haven't, um, you should check that out uh, before you make a decision. You know, if you're okay with it one way or you, you should be okay with it with the other way. And again, just a quick Google search, uh, check a banana out uh, with no GMOs and you, you'll be shocked. Population growth creates need for new solutions. The global po population is projected at 9 billion people by 2050. 20, no further pressure can be placed on wild fisheries. Critical impacts on water and energy usage and the need to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Viable sea cage farming has limitations. They have sea lice, algae bloom, ocean contamination, my microplastics. Uh, so, so Aqua Bounty believes there's a better way. And, and they believe that's through land farming. And I really like how this company really presents to you just in a, in a way, they're not just saying like, we make food, you know? They're, 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 you know they, they believe they have a purpose. You know, right here in their investor presentation, our purpose-driven culture will change the future of food. You know, and they have it, you know, they have a step-by-step -step, uh, plan. And here's their three-step plan. We embrace a three-step solution to address in the seafood gap. Step one. Shift salmon production to land-based aquaculture systems. Step two, use freshwater tanks and technology to nurture the fish in a safe and sustainable way. Step three, use genetically engineered salmon for faster growth to harvest weight, resulting in a almost two times increase in harvest with 25% less feed input compared to conventional grown salmon. Now, why is that so relevant? Okay, so just listen to that, their harvest is almost three times the amount of standard salmon or conventional salmon land, uh, farming, okay? So three times um, the amount. Um, and they feed, they, the, the feed of the harvest is 25%. So right off the bat, they're saving money on the... Aqua Advantage salmon is better for the environment and it's more for the consumers. Um, they will leave a lower carbon footprint, greater than 95% of water recycled and reduce transportation to consumption. So their, their system in general, it says Aqua Bounty operating practices and procedures have been developed and honed over several decades, meeting stringent regulatory requirements. 
Experience operating land-based RAS salmon farms ensures both the fish and the environment are protected. Optimizing control over water conditions and recycling greater than 95% requires specific skill sets and focus. Rigorous biosecurities protect against exposure to disease and parasites, eliminates the need for antibiotics, medications, or chemicals typically used in sea cages. So again, no antibiotics, no medications, no sea lice. Um, so uh, the protein is all there. They're, you know, on all the studies, the, the, it's totally healthy to eat, no different than a regular fish. I always take a look at the front office. We have the president and CEO is Sylvia Wolf. Uh, Miss Wolf has a reputation as a proven leader and accomplished executive, driving both growth and improved performance. Her diverse career encompasses executive level positions in general management, sales, marketing, and M&A. And, and um, Management, sales, marketing, and M&A in a variety of industries. And if you see here, Tyson and Sarah Lee, two big companies, U.S. Food, another big company. So the experience is there from the CEO and president. Um, we look here at the COO. We look here at the CCO from Bumblebee Tuna. See you, Bumblebee Tuna. Bumblebee Tuna. Tuna. So look, experience in the seafood industry. Um, so definitely an experienced team here. I really like to, to look into that. And at the end of the day, I mean, th this company is a tech company. It, it's a seafood company, but it's a technology company at the end of the day. And they're claiming to reduce emissions based on, you know, the amount of travel as well. Um, you know, the, the more they set farms up, that's less travel, less you know, less air freight. And, and, and they go over that in the investor presentation that this is a heavily reliant on air freight. This industry is heavily reliant on air freight. Very, very exciting here to me. Um, continued expansion in the US and Canada. Uh, potentially they'll have three to five farms by 2025. They're international. Uh, conversations continue with expansion partners in South America, Asia, and the Middle East. Uh, Brazil has completed their trials in January of 2020, so Brazil and Argentina also approved for field trials, if you see there. So, I mean, we're taking a look here. It, Israel, active discussion and for a strategic partnership. And China approved for field trials, currently upgrading site for preparation trials. So right there in China, I mean, so the, I mean, so so you can see it's a sm fairly small company at the time, but they have big plans. So this is certainly a good time to get in. And farm number three is right here at Indiana. And how do they select? This is how they're going to be selecting their new farms: availability of adequate clean water supply, low electricity, low electricity rates. Location close to consumption in major population centers, access to available and quality labor pools, support political environment, a supportive political environment, and cost effectiveness. So I'm going to assume that they got right here in that region so they could hit the East Coast. And they're really not that far off from, you know, the F Florida, you know, you see here Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Pennsylvania. I mean, they're right there. So smart, very smart. Uh, strategical placement for farm number three. Um, they, they said that they will, they're looking for to have th between three and five farms in the next, within the next five years. So um, that's a good place to start right there because you could already see they'll get the, the whole East Coast um, and it will cost quite a bit of, uh, you know, quite a bit less. So, you know, you can, you could contact them for whatever information. I had sent an email because I wanted to talk to Sylvia Wolf or one of the other executives, David Frank or David Melbourne. Um, you know, I just, I'm so fascinated by this company. I, I think they're great. Um, I own a call option for March of 2021. Um, and I also own shares. So I, I you know, I want to be upfront and honest. Um, but this is not a promotional video. I'll be the first one to tell you, this is not a get rich quick investment. <clears throat> But I am prepared that if there is a decline in the price, because it has run over the last couple of months to hold, I believe over the long 
Paul in the future that this is a very good investment. You know, involved Kathy Wood is who put this stock on my radar. Again, if you're not signed up to the Arc Trading Desk, they they send out a daily email um, of their you know their buy and sell for each day. So they're, they're extremely uh, beneficial. Um, if I see Arc buying. A, a company a few days in a row I start to pay attention and listen and watch you know and I don't normally invest in you know everything but I, I look I research and I look to see what they're doing so they, they they put this company on my radar I did the research I loved what I found but I'm not a financial advisor so you need to do all your own research and ultimately decide if this is the right investment for you and I can't stress enough that this is not a get-rich quick play and I think this is a big catalyst it's the first harvest from the Indiana farm which is farm number three and you know once they start reporting those numbers I expect uh, an upward trend but again I'm not a financial advisor and you need to do all your own research that's not a recommendation to buy or a suggestion to buy that is just what I'm doing um, and, and why I like this company please hit the like button um, again it really helps the channel grow uh, and subscribe to the channel for future content. I'm really trying to bring value. I hope that you're finding value in some of these videos. Um, my plan is to continue to, to bring, you know, valuable companies and growth stocks um, to, your, to at least your watch list. Um, so again, thanks for watching, guys.